Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. It's been a busy day of developments in a story that's captured national headlines for a week. Now Philadelphia's top cop says the department is making changes. Eyewitness News reporter Greg Argos is live at police headquarters with the latest on all of the developments. Greg. Jessica, Yuki, good evening. The big announcement today is that major apology from Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross. He says he was not forced to make this apology. He was not asked to make this apology. But around 12 noon today, he came out and said, I'm sorry to those two men arrested last week. Messaging is important and I fail miserably in this regard. An apology from Philadelphia's top cop for this initial response after the arrest of two black men in a Rittenhouse Starbucks one week ago. In short, these officers did absolutely nothing wrong. I should have said the officers acted within the scope of the law and not that they, did, they didn't do anything wrong. Words are very important. The apology comes the same day both of the men, Dante Robinson and Rashawn Nelson, broke their silence, saying they want to make sure what happened to them doesn't happen to anyone else. So what I want is for a young man or young men to not be traumatized by this and instead motivated, inspired. Help people understand that it's not just a black people thing, this is a people thing. And that's exactly what we want to see out of this and that's ch true change. So put action into place and stop using your words. Officers arrested both men last Thursday after a manager at this Starbucks on Spruce and 18th Street said they refused to purchase anything and would not leave the store. Ross says when he made his initial comments, he was unaware Starbucks are often used as gathering points where purchasing something is not necessarily required. For this reason, me, I apologize to them. Now you can see a large police presence here at the rear of Philadelphia Police Headquarters. That is because there is expected to begin a protest out front of the police department here any minute. Now coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, you're going to hear more about that protest, but you'll also hear exactly what the commissioner says will be a policy change after last week's arrest. I'll explain exactly what will change with department policy coming up in just about one hour. That is the latest live here at police headquarters. I'm Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Greg, thank you.